Hey guys, it's Thomas here with Technovision and welcome to the next part in our modding tutorial series. In this episode, we'll be talking about how to create a custom item tab, which are those little custom tabs in the creative menu for your mod and it'll have all the items and blocks from your mod in that tab. So. Uh, in order to do this, we're actually not going to create a new class. We're just going to do it inside of the um, main tutorial class or whatever you named your mod, because I think it'll just be easier to just type tutorial dot uh, tab or whatever the name of your mod is, um, especially because we're going to make it static. So in your main class here, again, it's the one with the mod ID at the top uh, inside of the class. So right below do client stuff, we're going to create a public static final and this is gonna be an item group. And if you don't know, an item group is basically an item tab from Minecraft. Uh, and we're gonna name this in all capitals tab because it is a final. Um, and it's gonna equal new item group. And in parentheses, um, we're gonna put the name of the tab. So this is not very important, it's more for your code. Uh, so two quotation marks. And inside of here, I'm gonna name it uh, tutorial tab. You can name it whatever you think fits best, uh, but this will be what we use to uh, to add an item to it. And we're actually gonna use this to create a custom name in the game, but we'll do that later on. So for right now, just add some curly braces and open it up. And we're gonna, of course, import item group. That's very important. And once you've imported item group, inside of here, we're actually gonna override a, um, a method in item group, which adds a uh, an item stack, which is the icon. So uh, if you look at you know any a creative inventory tab, you'll see that there's an icon. Like I believe one of the icons is like a grass block. Um, I think one of them is like a sword or something. I I'm not really sure, but we're gonna add a custom icon for ours. So we wanna add override. And this is just telling um, Java that we're overriding a method from item group here. So we're overriding public item stack and its name is create icon and just make sure you have those parentheses and a curly brace, of course. And we wanna hover over item stack and import that class. And what we're gonna return here is an item stack of the of the item that we're gonna be displaying. I know that's kind of confusing, but let me just type it out and we'll go through it. So return new item stack. And in uh, parentheses here, we wanna put the item that will be our actual um, icon. So I want my icon for now to be a ruby because that's the only game uh, item I have added into the game. And also because, you know, that's just what I want. But whatever you want uh, your item to be, I would recommend it's um, an item or a block from your actual mod. Uh, but what you're going to do is type registry handler. Again, this is where we um, registered all of our, um, our items that we've made so far. Dot. And when you type dot, you'll see that there's a list here. I only have Ruby because that's all we've ever made, but uh, you'll see all your items and all your blocks here when we get to that. Uh, and I'm gonna just double click on Ruby and you can see it's registry handler dot Ruby. And then we wanna do dot get, of course. And that just gets the actual item itself. And we can add a semicolon. And this is all done. So basically what this is doing is it's creating a custom item group, a custom uh, creative tab named tab. And uh, this is its like official name in the code and it's setting the icon to our custom item right here. And I just wanna show real quick, let me just file save all. I just wanna show that if you want a Minecraft vanilla item as your icon instead of a custom item, which I don't really recommend, but you know, if you wanna do that, sure. Uh, let's get rid of this. Then inside of item stack, what you wanna type is I believe items, or I guess it would be all, uh, all lowercase, except the I, items dots, uh, and then you'll get a list of items here. So let's say we wanted it to be an apple, items.apple, and you can see that works fine. So that would set your icon to be an apple. If we wanted it to be a block, we would do blocks dots, and you could choose a, a block here. We could do like um, blocks dot cactus, and that would set your icon to a cactus. But again, I want a custom item. So we're gonna go to the class where we registered it, registry handler dot ruby dot get. And it looks like I forgot to add a semicolon here. Just make sure you add a semicolon at the end of this last curly brace for um, for tab. And we can move this up just a little bit. And again, you can do this in, um, in a custom class. You can create a custom uh, class that extends item group and name it whatever you want. But in my opinion, I feel like this is just cleaner because uh, it's way less code. So now that we have this, we actually want to change the, the item group that our items are in. So go to your items package here in com dot whatever your, na uh, your name is dot whatever your name your mod is. We got our items, open up item base. 
And in item base, if you remember, we set the group, the, the properties.group to item groups.materials. And again, you can see item group. This is all just the basic vanilla item groups, but your custom item group is not gonna be in here. So what you actually have to do is get your main class. Uh, in my case, it's tutorial. Tutorial dot, and then you can see tab is right there. So tutorial dot tab. And that is gonna be how you access your tab in any class. And we can actually hover over tutorial import real quick, very important. And uh, again, just to make sure that you guys understand, save all here. Uh, in our registry handler class, that's in util, again, the util package. Whenever we create an item, we're using item base because we haven't gotten to advanced items yet. So these basic items are using item base. And inside of item base, we're essentially for every item setting its properties to, uh, or at least the group property to our custom tab here. And that's gonna make sure every one of your custom items is in the actual tab. All right, so the final thing we wanna do is actually create a custom name for our tab. So if you go to the resources folder here and you open that up and you go to assets dot the name of your mod, and then you open up the lang folder, we wanna open up this en underscore us dot json file, which holds all of our, uh, our names. And we can create a new entry by just hitting enter and uh, it, that should add a comma, but you can add one yourself if it isn't there. And we wanna put two quotation marks and the path to our actual tab is gonna be item group, dot and then the name of your tab and the name of your tab if we go to let's close out of these real quick if you go back to tutorial or whatever you named your uh, your main class this is the name i'm talking about so just copy this name right here right click uh copy go back to your ian underscore us.json right click paste uh there we go so it's going to be item group dot the name of your tab and just add a colon at the end here and then two uh, quotation marks, and this is gonna be the actual name in the game. So uh, you can name this whatever, it could be tutorial tab or whatever. Uh, in my case, I'm just gonna name it the name of my mod, so tutorial. And we don't want a, a, a comma here because this is the last entry. The last entry should never have a comma. Uh, so this is uh, pretty much it, and you can file, save all, and now we can run the game and actually see our tab. Okay, so you can see that we're inside of the game now, and if we open up our creative inventory, we can see that there is actually a second page to our tabs, and there it is, there's our custom tab, and you can see it says tutorial, of course, and it has our custom image of the Ruby that we set. And if we click on it, you can see our items are inside. Right now, all we have is one item, but uh, you can see it's working perfectly, and in the future, all of your items and spawn eggs and blocks, they'll all be in this tab, and you can see that our Ruby does work. So yeah, now you have a custom item group in the game. All right, so that's gonna do it for this episode. Thanks guys so much for watching. In the next episode, we'll be talking about how to actually create custom basic blocks. So that'll be really exciting. Uh, but yeah, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next episode.